Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Adam from Adam. And this is a random post that I'm making um, because I was given some intuitive guidance to uh, a friend about romantic partnership. And it was, I was encouraging them to be, make themselves available if they desire to be in a romantic partnership or if they're seeking life partnership to make themselves available. And so they said, well, what qualities? What are the most important qualities? Because they said they had their list, but they wanted me to find out intuitively what should be the most important qualities that they should look for um, outside of what they already had in their list. And as I intuitively, you know, and tuned in to get higher insight I was surprised by kind of what I got um, not that it was something I hadn't heard before but I don't think I heard it in this context and it was two most important factors that you want to consider in choosing your partnerships whether it's romantic partnerships friendships or any type of collaborations is peace and respect what does that person do for their peace find out how they achieve and get their peace because that is going to be the deal breaker in their maintaining their relationship their partnership their commitment their loyalty whatever to you is what do they do for their peace and these are the things that you notice as a red flag is how they go about securing finding and discovering their peace and how much peace do they have and the second one is respect how much do you see these individuals respecting others that they come in contact with? Whether it's the homeless person on the street, whether it's their ex, whether it's their family members, whether it's their children, their um, baby mother, whether it's their baby father, whatever it is, it is about respect. When someone is in love with you and they have infatuation with you, you're going to get to see a different side of them, a more favorable side, a more flattering side. But you want to make your decision to move forward and to open yourself up based on how they're responding to their enemies, how they're responding to their exes, how they're responding to the irritating coworker. And if they are still able to carry a sense of respect and integrity with those people who they are less favorable with or they have less feelings for, chances are that when you, they are having their moments with you, they'll still offer you that same respect. And in the same way, if you see a person that can handle situations of chaos and they still can remain in peace, um, that lets you know you're dealing with a person who is strong and has some resiliency to get through tough times and it makes you allow yourself to be vulnerable connecting with them. If you see a red flag in the beginning that you're with a person who requires a lot of things to get their peace, a lot of red flags, you may want to proceed with caution. Hope this makes sense.